The Tandy Color Computer has a connector on the back to allow hooking up a cassette player with a special cable, so software can be loaded from the cassette by playing audio tones into the color computer representing the data. But I don't have a cassette player, so I made this PCB with today's sponsor PCB Way to use an Arduino Nano to play back audio files in a CAS file extension format that the color computer can understand. So if you get these CAS image files and put them on an SD card, when this is powered up, you can scroll with the up-down buttons through the list of files and then start or stop playback of that audio out to the Coco. And there's a remote control jack as well, which is part of the cable that goes to the Coco so that you don't have to manually play this. You can just start loading from the Coco and when it's ready, it will tell this to start playback. This is the pinout of the five pin connector on the back of the Coco and this project doesn't store data. So we don't use the sound out pin to save data to a tape. We just use ground and sound in to play audio from the Arduino. And these two pins for the relay single pull, single throw go to this remote control jack. So basically it brings a certain GPIO on the Nano to ground, which tells it to start playback automatically. In the schematic of the Coco, here's that five pin connector where we have this cassette in and out going over to those audio pins. And the relay here, we can see when it's controlled, it just has a switch contact closing or opening. And the design of the PCB is based on other projects that use all these various cassette audio file players. I'm using Castduino to play those CAS files. I could probably use some of these others, but this is the one that worked for me. And all of these control buttons tend to be assigned to the same pins in at least some of these different sketches. So I just designed my board to work similar to all of this. And this is where I found back in 2020, the sketch can be downloaded for Castduino version 1.24. So that's what I'm using. And it uses the OLED for the display. I don't know if there's a more formal location to go get this sketch. I'm just counting on this website still being up if I ever need a newer version. But for now, I've got this downloaded. This is the schematic I came up with. So the Nano is here and these buttons here are the standard ones recognized by Castuino. The OLED is on the I squared C bus and this is the standard GPIO used for that remote starting of playback from the Coco. And the audio playback from those cassette image files comes out on this port, goes through an amplifier to make sure the Coco can detect the sound and the SD card interface is here with level shifting buffers because the SD card runs at 3.3 volts and the Nano is at 5 volts. After loading in the Castduino sketch with all of these other files that open up, two main things that I had to be aware of. This SD fat library originally gave me compile errors and I think I read somewhere that the latest is version 2 something and you need to go back to version 1 something. I'm not sure why, but I just rolled back the version of the library and then everything compiled. Then over in this user config.h file, it controls what kind of display you are using. So by default, it was enabling a 16 by 2 LCD. So I had to comment that out and then enable using an OLED. So these two lines here get uncommented for the display to work. Then I just put that sketch in this board. It powers up with a splash screen and then goes right into reading the SD card and waiting for some control inputs. So since I'm using the remote start feature, the way to get the board running is after scrolling through the list of files and choosing one, you press play on the board and it will say paused on the display because it's waiting for the remote start to actually start playing. So now you can just go work on the Coco side and tell it to load the program. 
And since when you power on the Coco, you are running the basic programming language, I found this summary card for commands that you can use. And there's different ways to load programs. So I assume C load means cassette. And depending if it's just, I guess, a basic program file, I'm not sure, or if it's a machine language program, you have to load it with either C load or C load M. And I don't know how to tell or if there is a way to tell what type of program file it is until you try and it gives an error and then just try the other. But the first thing I do is use audio on because that lets me hear the cassette tones on the television. So at least I can tell it's working. So if you use C load to load a program and it works successfully, you have to type run to actually execute the program. But if you use C load M for a machine language program, then you have to run it with exec, I guess, to execute. So I just type exec. I don't need any memory location. It turns out the program file I am trying to load uses C load M. So once I did that, I heard the relay click on the Coco and the audio started playing to load the program from the SD card. Then I ran it by typing exec and it ran this game software.